What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to look at some of the biggest missed opportunities that Sea of Thieves uh, Pirates left kind of kind of missed out on, right? So I just beat it. I beat it last night, and we're not going to really go into my you know my thoughts about it, but and we can in future videos if you guys want me to. But there were a couple things that stuck out in terms of what they didn't do. They did do a lot, but there were some noticeable absences okay and now again this is coming from somebody who's not really a big sea of thieves fan i played it the first couple days that it came out and i mean like years ago then i stopped i never play it again and i picked it up specifically for this dlc okay so i'm, I'm a diehard pirates fan that's why i did this in the first place and uh, and so i do by the way i do think i know what i'm talking about in terms of the pirates stuff maybe not in terms of the sea of thieves stuff uh and that goes in the first thing i don't want to say you know i guess an honorable mention but one that i'm not going to spend too much time into because of what i kind of know is the Kraken. Now, I believe, and you see that these fans will correct me if I'm wrong, right? The Kraken, I think, is in this game in some form, right? You can battle the Kraken. So they already have that. It's not the Davy Jones version that we, you know, with the, with the I guess, the sequences that we saw in Dead Man's Chest. So I'm not going to hold that against the game whatsoever. I would consider that not a missed opportunity just because they've kind of already done their own thing with it. Okay, so it's something I wanted to throw in there, but it's not something I wanted to spend too much time on. The first thing is going to be Jack and Barbosa, those two, you know, uh, being together. So, you know, again, a little a little opinion of what I thought about certain aspects, and we have to do that for, you know, for these lists kind of things. Um, Barbosa was not used at all, basically. I mean, we heard his voice a couple t uh, during, like, a sequence. Um, I'll be flat out honest, the, the voice actor for Barbosa and also Davy Jones not good whatsoever Jack amazing but those two you, I, I think you could have done better and that's uh I'm just going to call it for what it is in terms of if you're trying to replicate the voice of Jeffrey Rush right you should do it as well as you can but uh, the biggest thing is just the fact that we didn't see him we didn't see him and also the idea of Jack and Barbosa together it's a really big element specifically in three Pirates three and then four and five now the game doesn't the game only references five in the uh, sailing beyond like his beloved horizon. It's really only one line at the end of the at the end of uh, like Pirates Life, like the actual thing. That's the only reference to Pirates Five, and then in Pirates Four, it's only the music and I guess the reference of sirens kind of being the mermaid equivalent. Okay, in terms of uh, you know four on Stranger Tides. So for the most part, the game is one through three, and taking kind of select things from it. Okay. Even with that being said, I get they use Barbosa in, the, in like the beginning of one, which is powerful and it's a really awesome sequence. But like you don't see him at all. You only hear him and then he leaves. You also hear, I guess, his crew. And I think that's before that his crew like mentions him. Right. Uh, but that's it. So I get why they chose the Pirates one element because it's so iconic. But the Pirates 3 with Barbosa and Jack together, that's also very, very cool and one of the best. Um, and and I, again, like not taking 4 and 5, I mean, Jack and Barbosa's sequences in 4 and 5 are arguably the best parts of both of those movies. Okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is the Brethren Court. And again, they kind of did this. They were, I mean, they hinted at it. They even did the Dark Brethren, okay, which I thought was actually, <laughs> well, I don't know. In my opinion of that, I, I didn't exactly like that just because. They're right there, like the Brethren Court's right there, and they, you know, I respect them for wanting to do their own thing in a in a set universe, but the, the best we got was Davy Jones at a table with, like, a couple people talking about, you know, kind of, uh, I, I guess, uh, what, bonding Calypso, kind of that whole idea. So, you know, I, I, I get it, but I would have liked to see that scene, okay? So that's something I think it was kind of important to me that we didn't get to see. The next two... I think, and again, like, I understand why they wouldn't do any of these. Like, there's reasons for, for these things. So I don't want to say, like, I'm, and I don't, I'm not saying Pirate's Life was horrible or even bad. I actually thought it was rather good. Again, I just don't, don't want to get too far into my thoughts of it. Uh, the third thing is up is down, okay? It's the, the, the ship going upside down. So I understand the difficulties that it would take to do something like this, okay? I do understand it. Um, I'm not even sure ships in the game are supposed to do things like that unless they've completely sunk. However, what I will say, at the end, this is um, kind of spoilers, not really though, the final mission, you battle the Flying Dutchman, and they have like the pulse wave, which would be to summon the Kraken, which they just did it as literally a pulse wave. So a little different, not as good, obviously, as its intended use, but 
if you're close, I mean, I, and I, don't, I don't have the footage for this, so I'm sorry if I, I can't show it to you, but one of the times he hit my ship, okay, I think I was close enough to him where it was like a big rattle, and our ship literally turned sideways and got like soaked, where I thought he flipped the ship over and then it went back to normal. So, I, I mean, again, I completely understand this one more than the other ones by a lot. I understand the technical difficulties of doing this. I understand that it's not insanely likely that this could happen in the game that is Sea of Thieves. However, I mean, it is an iconic moment. It would be pretty cool. I don't know how you would do it, to be flat out honest with you. It's, again, just something that, you know, you notice that it's not there, but it's a big sequence. The final one is the Maelstrom, which is uh, obviously the ending of three, or the final, I would say, like, 45 minutes of three, where it's just uh, the biggest battle, and I think one of the most well-put-together battles in any film ever, ever created. Uh, I, I mean, I, you guys may know this or may not. Pirates is my favorite franchise of all time. Pirates 3 is my favorite movie of all time. Now, they did do... Something along the lines of the ending of three, where you have Davy Jones's ship, or the Flying Dutchman, you have the ghost ships, and then you have the Black Pearl, and then you have, you know, the, the other crew that are also, I guess, ghost ships that are helping you. So it, it is it is a battle. I mean, I drove right into the battle. Like, me and my friend were, like, in the midst of it. There's just ships firing everywhere. Like, it is cool. It's not the Pirate Lords versus uh, Beckett and the East India Trading Company, which, by the way, the underuse of Beckett was pretty sad in this game as well. I guess that could be an honorable mention as, as well. He's in it for, like, two minutes, and it's not very good. But the idea of a Maelstrom, now, again, and this will maybe be something you guys have to correct me if I'm wrong. Like, I don't think that's possible either. Now, what I will say, I mean, for my very limited time in Sea of Thieves, the best part of it is... I'd say probably the sailing and, like, the water and the physics and mechanics of how that all works. I think that's, uh, I really don't like the sword fighting. I really didn't like battling enemies with, with pistols or with swords or anything like that. But I did very much like the sea stuff. So, I don't know if it's possible. I would assume the answer is very clearly no, right? It is something I want in the game where literally just a giant sinkhole opens up in the water and you can go around it. I think that would be very, very cool. Again, I understand. And I think in fairness to them once again, I think they chose, they wanted to do that ending of three, okay, that battle, and they did it as well as the game they built allowed it to, to to play out. You know what I mean? They had the Flying Dutchman. It was the real Flying Dutchman. It was very cool to fight it, right? It destroys you. It's got a lot of different weapons. It's got the triple guns, which is absolutely awesome, right? So it's got a lot of great things. And again, they bring in the Black Pearl, which also looks insanely cool. And, very, and both of them look very, uh, like very good replicas of the actual thing. And they try to have a mini, basically, war out there. And uh, and they do it, I think, as well as they possibly could. So I, I'm I, honestly the final mission if you guys played the game final mission I was very impressed by I really liked it it's that that's more of like nitpicking where it's like well you could maybe you could have done the maelstrom probably not but it's obviously something that I think uh, it is missed out on for sure I mean you play it and you're like oh well it could have been even better if you had that so again Yes, these are things picking on it. I do overall like it. We can talk about that in a future video if you guys are so upset that you want me to explain myself. I could do that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. Leave a like. Definitely, definitely helps. I do a brand new video on this channel every single day. And so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.